Patil and welcome back. In this section, we are going to discuss about a very important feature, very important functionality in MongoDB that is map reduce. So we are going to see how we can use the very popular map reduce functionality in MongoDB for querying the desired data. So let's get started. So first we start with the map reduce definition. So what is map reduce? So there are two functions map and reduce mapper and reducer. So what mapper does and what reducer does, that's what we are going to discuss. So together we call it map reduce in MongoDB. Okay. So what is map reduce? So map reduce in MongoDB is very simple fundamental stuff like map reduce is a data processing paradigm for condensing large volumes of data into useful aggregated results. So this is the definition as per the MongoDB. So MapReduce is a data processing paradigm for condensing large volumes of data into useful aggregated results. So suppose we have a large volume of data containing lots of information about particular user or particular employee or particular student or whatever. So what we want, we want, we, what we do with the large amount of data, we can't figure out what is going on, what is there. We can't go line by line and search. So for that, we use map reduce function to get the aggregated result as per the query we provide. So we are going to discuss this by a example. We'll be seeing an example, how we can use map reduce to get the aggregated result useful result that we can use in our application out of the large volume of data so for map reduce operations mongodb provides map reduce database command so this map reduce map reduce is the database command that we are going to use so to use this command database command or map reduce function we just need to use db dot collection name dot map reduce and inside that we will be providing the mapper and reducer functions and other queries. So suppose we have a data, we have a document which is containing employee details and employee is having certain loans, few loans employee is having. So what we want, like this document is containing employee ID, loan ID, uh, loan amount and loan status. So there will be a several documents for a same employee, like one employee can have many loans with different banks or same bank. So it is having employee ID, loan ID and loan amount and loan status. So an employee can have a active loan and an employee can have a expired loan. So it will, it will have the employee ID for different, different employees and it will have all the active loans and all the expired loan details with the loan id and employee id so what we are going to do in this we are going to find the per user per employee active loans and then what we do first we will be using the map function to find employees and the active loans so first map function what we do we will be finding the employee id and all the active loans so loan id and then with the reducer function what we do we'll be finding per employee total sum of the loans. So first we get the all the loan ID and then based on the loan ID reducer will go each and every loan and it will sum it up all the loan amount. So at last we will get the employee and total loan. So total active loans. So that's what we are going to do in this example. So suppose how we write the map reduce function. So C reduce as I said earlier, we will be using db dot and this loan details is the collection which is containing all the documents for the employee loan details. And then we'll be using map reduce function here. And then inside that we will be providing function, this function and we'll be using emit. Emit is another function which will give you these two employee ID and loan amount. Okay. And then we'll be using another function that will having the key and value okay and it will return an array which will be having the sum of all the values okay so these this will be the employee id and this will be the loan amount and then this array will be summing all the values here it will go for each and every key and sum it of all the values and then we can provide the query what we want to fetch we want to fetch the doc documents which are having only loan status as active and then we can give the 
out output total this will be the collection which will be containing the result of this map reduce function okay so this is the simple map reduce query that we will be writing to get what we discussed so here this function is the map function so what it is doing it is getting us the employee id and loan amount and then this one is the reducer function which will be getting the key and value and then based on the key value it will go and sum it up all the values for each key and then inside that we are giving what how we are going to query the document so we are going to going to query the document based on the loan status which is active so it will look for all the active loan ids and then we will be outputting this result employee id and loan total loan in the document in the collection which will having name total loan so this is the query which is a uh, document and this output is the output which will contain all the output apart from this we can also have a sort and limit so sort will have a document which will say we want to sort the result in a particular way we want to sort in ascending order descending order or whatever so you can provide the sort functionality here and then we can provide the limit which will be a number so limit the number of result which if you have a large amount of data you are going to get a uh, thousands of results you can limit the number of results you want like first hundred or something okay so you can use this so this is the map reduce function in mongodb this is how we are going to write so what is map map is a javascript function that maps a value with a key and emits a key value pair and then that key value pair will go to the reducer function function is also a javascript function that reduces the groups of all document having the same key so it will have it will go for each key and find the value and then sum it up and return to this array and then out is the output location for the result so it will have a collection okay and query specifies the op optional selection criteria for selecting documents so we are selecting a document based on the criteria active and then sort specifies the optional sort criteria that you can provide with this and limit specifies the optional maximum number of document to be returned so this way you can use the map reduce function so now we have discussed the theory part in the next lecture we are going to do our hands on with the same example and i'll show you by uh, I'll, I'll create a collection loan details i'll insert the data and then i'll write the map reduce to get the every employee active loan loans total loans on the employee